Is it wrong of me to covet Dave Z24? I don't know, I just... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to buy it from him at some point. But hey, that's not the, su the subject of today's video. Hello folks, and welcome to your next semi-exciting episode, and the resurrection of a long since dead project. Welcome back to the Super Turkey, aka our E46 track stroke drift car project. When you would have last seen us with this particular vehicle, we had managed to blow the smeg out of the inverter and hadn't really done much with it after that. That inverter now lies here. It is no longer needed. Thank you for your service. And we have true barn find fashion here. We've got a nice uh, dust cover on her. She's been languishing in Dave's shed here. Got our trusty high voltage danger sticker. And in the back here, <clears throat> you will see that we have installed our modified Ansaldo inverter in a very haphazard fashion. And this now has the Paul Holmes logic and control board on it. We have got the high voltage crap wired up and the encoder wired up. And I'm now going to hack up the old uh, wiring harness so we can get some 12 volt power going in here. And uh, start seeing if we can uh, get this thing to maybe motivate or do something. So... Stay with us. Got our stickers on this side too. More dust. More E24. Mm. Now. So in here, uh, what I did was I took some of the uh, connections for the high voltage DC, AC, and encoder from one of the scrapped ANOVA inverters and kind of use that so we can connect easily our ANOVA motor. And for those of you that maybe haven't followed the series, we'll see down here, mmm, direct drive with crazy gearbox and short drive shaft. So, what I gotta do, I gotta cut some of the wires out of this connector connect them in here so we can get some 12 volt and throttle pedal going on here and then um, then we can see if uh, if we can pre-charge this thing and see if it wants to move so gotta hack some stuff up to make that work so less conversation little more action okay so we got 12 volts rigged up we got our throttle rigged up um, I've also grounded the main contactor cables from the front junction box. We'll be using the built-in contactor here. So, theoretically, we are good to go here. Uh, so I'm going to see where I can get some 12 volts into this thing and uh, see if it's see what we can do with it. So, progress. Okay, welcome to the inside of the Super Turkey. Our inverter is punched up and running we've our laptop uh, connected to it got 150 amps of motor current my battery is at about 300 volts at the minute it's not in a good position and uh, when i give it some gas uh, we tend to start shaking here and the more you know we start getting pretty seriously shaking um, now, the problem is, not really down to the inverter, I think. Ugh. Problem is that we've got the third mobile jamming us uh, in place here, so we're not really able to move. So, um, the 
third mobile is also dead. So, and it's got flat tires. So we're kind of pushing against a immovable object here. Um, but uh, it is kind of a valuable uh, tuning lesson for us though. Um, so I've been playing with some of the parameters here in an attempt to see if I could uh, figure out some way to get it to push the third mobile for me. But, um, yeah, I'm very pleased with it. It's actually in here and working. And uh, so next phase of the operation is going to be, uh, I think Paul is doing some fancy software for me, so that'll be good because I'm going to be able to reverse the motor, but right now we can only go backwards. Um, so I will leave you guys at that this rather dull dusty car we will see you in the next episode where hopefully we will be driving this thing uh, until then don't forget to like share and subscribe and um, check links in the description if you want to bother but you don't really have to um, and until next time happy third mobile shunting <laughs>